I've been preparing my kayak and gear for hours last night. But I did not expect a thin layer of ice covering the world this morning. Luckily the roads were salted, so I could still get to the Vide to go paddling. Although, I definitely did not expect ice on the water. My name is Jeroen Stegenman and I like to go flat out door. Please join me on this icy kayak adventure. In the little village built Schutzloot, I was happy to see there was no more ice. But little did I know what was yet to come. In wintertime, farmers travel many of the canals in this beautiful nature reserve using small open boats. Well, obviously, they don't travel all canals. Luckily I could continue pedaling, enjoying the somewhat historic view of the farmers cutting thatch for rooftops. But as I continued, the ice got thicker and thicker, making it hard to pedal and steering the kayak increasingly difficult. So I decided to look for routes where I expected the ice to be already broken by the boats from the farmers. But again and again, I ran into places with ice. Bit by bit, I learned to be my own icebreaker. By putting my pedal in as close to the kayak as possible, I could still keep going forward, forcing the nose of the kayak to break the ice ahead of me. I even started to enjoy this weird new experience. But still, I was happy to find liquid water again. Nature Reserve de Vide is always beautiful, 
and definitely in winter time too. But again I ran into ice, so I decide to head for open water, where I'm sure there will be less ice. Ijsbreken daar hoor. Ja, ja, ja. I'm on a small lake called Belterwiede now. I run into a giant group of coots. There are hundreds of them. As soon as they see me, they flee. Here you see the last of them trying to hide in the thad. All of them in the same place. They must be sitting right on top of each other. But once I pass them, I can't see a single one anymore. It's like magic. Nature keeps amazing me every day again. Quite suddenly, clouds are covering the skies, bringing a chilly breeze and icy rain. A bit later, the clouds are breaking open again, revealing parts of blue and orange skies. As beautiful as it is, I start to realize that the ice and weather have slowed me down quite a bit. I may have to rush back to my starting point in Beltschutzloot, to be back before dark. If you've seen my earlier videos, you know I'm crazy about the kingfisher. I see quite a lot of them here, but it's hard to film them in dusky conditions. While I am silently enjoying the majestic view from my kayak, a heron flies up from the waterside, leaving his beautiful silhouette against the orange skies. And then it's really quiet again. I guess nature is also getting ready for the night. 
It won't be long before dark now, so I better keep moving. So ends another wonderful day of kayaking. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel. So we meet again in my next video.